Hello everyone, this is Mr. Collie again, and in this teacher demo, we're going to look at how to extend our weather program so that it gives us different advice about what to wear, depending on the type of weather that we input. I've got my starter program here, it outputs where do you live, and it gets the user input and assigns it into a variable called location. It then uses that variable location in another output which says weather in the location you typed in now and it gets the weather input. So what we're going to do is extend this now so it gives us different advice depending on whether, it, whether, whether the weather is cloudy, rainy or snowy. And also in any other case display a generic message. So I've got the sample code here in my IDE and I'm going to use selection again just like we did in the last lesson so if and i'm checking the weather variable that's where it stores what the weather is if the weather is equal to and we're going to go with cloudy i'm going to put this in in lowercase if the weather is cloudy don't forget my column there and instead of outputting here i'm going to have a variable called advice i'm just going to assign that the advice that I want. So um, wear a coat. Now let's go back to my slide and see what else I had to include. Cloudy, rainy or snowy. In any other case, display a generic message. So back to the start of my line to start a new branch and I'm going to do my else branch, which is my any other case generic message branch. So advice equals no special advice for you. There we go. And then at the bottom of my program, back to the start again, I'm going to output the contents of my advice variable. So if the weather is cloudy, advice variable will store wear a coat. Otherwise, it will store no special advice for you. And then it will output that variable down here. However, I've got a problem now because I need to do rainy and snowy as well. So in this lesson, we're learning what to do if we've got more than two options. And here's what you do. Between the if and the else, so I'm going to start a new line here and press backspace to start a new branch. You can start new branches by using L if, which is short for else if. After L if, you put your next condition. So we checked if the weather was cloudy. Now we're going to check if the weather is rainy, like that. And you set it up exactly like you'd set up an if, it's just an L if. So my advice, I'm gonna copy that line. In this case, I'm gonna change the advice take an umbrella and then I want another branch for snowy so I'm just going to copy this whole thing start a new branch remember to go back to the start of your line and paste now for weather is snowy I'm going to put wear a scarf There we go. So you start your selection with an if, you end it with an else, and if you've got more than two options, you put as many elifs as you need in between, like that. Now on my last video, when I tried to run this, it took forever and didn't work. I'm hoping that this one's going to run a bit quicker. Where do you live? Lastly. What's the weather like in Athlete right now? Looking out the window, it's a bit cloudy. Enter, wear a coat. There we go. So I got the right advice for if it was cloudy. Let's try it again with a different one. Where do you live? Now look, it's used that variable location in the sentence we're in location now. So it says we're in Astley now. So what we're gonna do with this one, let's go snowy. 
wear a scarf. So I can test all my different branches by running the program several times and seeing if it gives me the right output in the right situation. That's how to extend your program if you have more than two branches by using LIF.